Hello everyone, Neon Julie Puff here, and welcome to you back to another episode of Super Mario RP No Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I've been I I thought I was gonna nail it this time. I thought third time was the charm. No, it's not. Last episode we beat up a bunch of Goombas and Koopas beat leveled up, and now we have to find secret keys inside this little thing that the old Goomba told us about. And there's statues of rock guys. Door won't open. Okay, what do we do? Let's talk to one of the statues. But it turns out they're not statues. They're mini bosses. Okay. This is really a mini boss? I thought it would have been classified as a regular enemy because you're about to see that they are regular enemies. That's a bald cleft. Basically, uh, a rock monster with a scary looking face. It's kind of mean. Uh, this is kind of mean, but the bald guys really don't do it for me. Goombella, you have no room to judge anyone for being bald. You have no arms. Why? What are you doing? Let's let's power smash this guy. I believe their HP is like really really high, so they might not even be hurt. No. Okay, they are getting hurt by this. Uh, okay, but Goombella, why could it be so mean? Miss no arms. Yeah, they're immune to jumping, so I'm gonna have to use hammer. Let's try normal hammer, see what that does. It might only do one, though. No, we have to use power smash, okay. And I forgot to block. Okay, Goombella, you can just... You can defend. I'm gonna kill it anyway, but you can defend. So we need power smash. Now we have to use our badges? Now look at this. The game's making us use our badges. It's good, though. And we got 10 experience points. And we got a poison mushroom card. Let's hope we don't get two of those. Or three. And now the gate's open. We've completed our challenge. Challenge! That's an inside joke, kind of. Okay, we're we're free. On to the next road. Uh, on the road to success! We got a mushroom for that. We stole his mushroom, the one that he used in battle. He used the mushroom, and now we have it. I guess we killed him, cut him open, and took the mushroom out of his stomach. Well, that's pretty dark for a Mario game. This game does get kind of dark, though. You know, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I'm just saying it kind of does. So, you know, stay, stay prepared! No, oh, Goomba! I just got two poison mushroom cards, and I'm really, really scared now. And we need this... We're gonna need this for the next challenge battle, because... Yeah, we're, we're just gonna need some power blocks, so... Yes. Spare warning here. Those statues look really freaking creepy, but just warning here, if you're playing this game alongside me, do not, I repeat, do not use the PAL blocks if you get them. Save them for this, because, well, you're, you're gonna see in a minute. Alright, Goombella, I'm gonna need you to, uh... Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna need you to tattle on these guys. What the hell are these? That's a Bristol! Totally covered in Spike. They're so prickly. HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 4. And they're impervious to fire. They're immune to fire, and they're covered in Spikes. This means you cannot jump on them, and if you try to whack it with the hammer, if you get too close to it, it'll still attack you. So don't use your hammer, seriously. So you can't hammer this, you cannot jump on this, and, and they're immune to fire. How the hell do you attack these things? You see, I'm gonna I'm gonna be dumb. I'm gonna show you what happens if you try and hammer these guys. Don't do what I'm about to do right now. Because look what happens. They'll attack. They'll counter you instantly. There's no way to attack them. The only way to do so is to use your POW block. Which is why they give you two of them. See, fire flowers do not work. Nothing works except the POW block. They're gone. Just like that. Oh, I forgot to block that. 14 experience points. Cool. We're almost halfway there to a level up already. And my cat just be out. I don't, know, I don't know if you heard that. I'm... I fed her already. I don't know why she's yelling. I'll be right back, I guess. All right, sorry for that cut there. We are back and ready to... I just hit my desk with the controller on accident. Oh, man. Check the bushes. Anything in here? Star pieces? Mushrooms? Anything? Okay, Cooper, you- no, Cooper, no! He dead. And we got one HP. Back! Good. And we got a fire 
Oh, you've killed me! Good. Oh, wait, there's an in card. In coupon. They're really not that useful because you don't really need to use the in that much, but it's nice to have. I'm probably going to use it after this chapter sometime. Because why not? They're almost never used, and oh god. Goodbye, Goomber. I'm sorry, but I'm not at the same time. And we get to pay five coins to full heal. I'm going to do it. To heal block, you have to pay five coins to heal. I'm gonna do it for Goombella. We get everything. We get FP and we get to feed. I almost said feed. Heal Goombella. Now I believe that this is the last challenge or like trial, I guess they're called. Save. It probably is. It's gonna be an important one. Oh no, this statue. Do we have to fight a thwomp now? It's gonna be a really big mini boss, isn't it? Isn't it? Hmm, hmm, ho, ho, ha, ha. You are the first contenders, you are the first contestants I've seen in a while. You've come all this way to Schwank Fortress. You must want stone keys. If that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. By terrible, I mean awful. Hmm, <laughs> ho, 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 ho. So, what do you want to do? I'll take you on! Alright, it's time for a great battle. You're in for it now! No. We're not battling anyone. This is a game show. It's a quiz! It's like, it's like Ka-Wiz! A crazy quiz guy in Paper Mario! Hey, ladies and germs! Welcome everyone to the 56th Super Fun Quirk Quiz! Perk up those ears! If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win! But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question. What's hidden in this place? Stone keys. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. You got it right. Ugh, that's correct. That question was too easy. But it only gets harder from here. Much harder. Pause. So prepare yourselves. On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and Fireflower cost of the pedal for? I don't know. I don't know. But my gut is telling me. I don't know. I I'm thinking the I'm thinking 16. Is that your real answer? Yeah. What? Okay. Okay. You know what? Yeah. That's correct. The question was too easy. No, it wasn't. I didn't even know the answer, and I, I just guessed it. Fair yourself. I had a 25% chance of getting that right. Question three. What is the name of the mirror in Petalburg? I didn't even get it. No, I, you know what? I think it's Krupp. Yeah, it's Krupp. I didn't even get his name, but it's Krupp. Ugh! Oh, that's correct. That question was too easy. Oh, he's just going to say the same thing. So prepare yourselves. Okay, question three. We're not done yet, folks. No, question four, I mean. So we got it either way. Now, where is the crystal star? Hooktail Castle. Okay, right again. So we got this no matter what. We got it no matter what. But, final question. Question five. How can you get from here to Rogueport? Uh, race in a cart through a pipe only by air? Boat across the sea. It's by pipe. That's how we got here. The real answer? Yes. We got here by pipe. No! That's that's right. We got all, we got all five questions correctly. We answered them all correctly. And the game show is done. Put the puzzle back together. So very angry! I can't believe I lost! I guess I have to let you throw stupid rules. That was our battle. Yeah, we didn't have a traditional RPG battle. We had a quiz battle and we won. Hmm! Thank you, Mr. Thwomp. Or is, he, is, is his name Schwamp? I don't know. I mean, it's called Schwamp Fortress. I guess he's not Thwomp in this game. He's Schwamp. Okay, whatever you say. Now, down here is what- Ooh, badge. What is this? Multi-bounce. I'm gonna need this. How many does- How many uh, badge points does it cost? Only one, that's it. We, we, we can equip all of these. Okay, I'll do it then. Okay. Now, there's two stone keys. I, so one's left while others- Wait, why is Mario's shadow- You see that? That, that, that's really weird. Even when he's jumping too, kind of. That's that's kind of weird. 
Okay, I'm gonna go right first, because either way, it has a stone key. And there's a new enemy! We gotta fight it. We have to. New enemy. I hate these guys so much. They're so weird. Alright. You know what to do. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Those things will suck your HP and replenish it for their own. I mean, ew. Doesn't that sound totally gross? Yeah, they... So, so they can vamp. That's their specialty. They vamp? Ooh, we can use our new move! Multi-bounce. It attacks all enemies. Once, though. Only once. It attacks every enemy in a row. That's it, though. And the timing on this is really weird. I don't know the timing. It's so weird, and I hate these guys so much. Nope. And they completely healed everything, so multi-bounce is not gonna work. Almost tattled. No, don't tattle. Nope. Um, normal hammer. Yeah, these guys are really, really weird and ugly. I don't like fuzzies. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. They look cooler in this game than the other ones, though. Like, in the other ones, they just look ugly. And in these ones, they at least kind of look cute and approachable. But in the newer games, they redesigned fuzzies to look absolutely ugly and disgusting. Here, I'll put it on screen right now. Boom! That's what a fuzzy looks like right now. And that's what a... So that's a normal fuzzy, and that's a paper fuzzy. Modern and very ugly. I don't like either of them. The old one was better. Why is the shadows are so weird in this game? What is this? Okay, let's go. I don't want to fight. I don't want. I don't want. They're so annoying to fight. I don't want to fight these guys. I'll fight Goombas and Koopas, but not these guys. We got a Sunstone. We we really are copying Pokemon now. We're in Petalburg. We got a Sunstone. Oh my God. We got a lot of flower power from that. Okay. Now let's go to the left and get the other key. Meet you guys there. All right, we're on the left side of the dungeon. I don't want to fight you. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you. Go away. Go away! All right, Fuzzy's dead. We got three coins out of it and some experience. We got nine, I believe. And we got the Moonstone. We really are ripping off Pokemon now. It's real. It's official now. We're in Petalburg. Petalburg. We got Sunstone and Moonstone. And we can't flee this fight. And there's three of them. Uh... Okay, I'm fine with that. 12 experience points. We're almost, we're gonna level up very, very soon. And we got two HP. Okay, now we could actually leave. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be in this place anymore. Oh. Mjork. Hey, you suspicious types. This is our place and coming here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. He seems to be the village leader. This is, well, a mini-boss. He's a stronger... It's Fuzzy. Let's tattle on him. Let's see what the hell this guy is. That's a gold Fuzzy. Well, th those are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Okay, so they're a rare species, and they can talk. Normal ones can't talk. These guys can't talk. Okay. Max HP is 10. Attack is 1. Defense is 0. But hey, even if it's a fuzzy, it'll suck your HP. Wait, it won't suck your HP. Okay, it'll just suck you. How does it hide? Pause. How does it hide? Okay, let's use Power Smash on this. Let's kill it as fast as possible. Oh, goodbye. You're, more, you're almost halfway dead already. Me, oof! Oh my god, it's Dez. Oof, that hurt. Ow, you trumps are tougher than, I, than you look. <laughs> but I'm not tough. But, but I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him! Oh my god. You see, if I... These fuzzies look like bugs. They, I hate them. I don't like them. I don't... Oh god, and a bucket fell on my head. I countered one. And Goombella's... Goombella's about to die. Um, I don't want to use items because we're about to level up. You know, wait, he's used Fire Flower. Okay, Goombella, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to keep you alive. Set these guys on fire, attacks all enemies. I think Mario can actually end this right now. Wait a minute, he might be able to end this. Yep, he can, I think. No, ah, I could have ended it. I didn't do it, Goombella's probably gonna die. No. The first one, 
the first one that I get! Why? The first bingo that I get is this. I lost it all. I didn't lose, but I'm just saying, of course that's the first bingo I get is the poison mushroom and it, and it works! Of course it does! At least the boss is over, but still! Okay, we level up, we're fine, we're gonna get healed, but still, that is insane! Why was that the first one that I get? Oh my god. I'm gonna do HP. I'll do BP next. I'm not gonna do this in any order. I'm, I'm gonna do it in whatever I think is the most appropriate at, at that moment. BP is next though, because everyone, everything needs a buff at least once. Oh my god, of course that's the first bingo I get is the freaking poison mushroom after mentioning it. I got it once and it didn't work, thank god, but then this happened and now I got it, so... Okay, of course! That's the first one that I get. I'll meet you guys back at Petalburg, or at the beginning where we have to put the stone keys. Ooh, honey syrup, just like Mario RPG. It, it heals FP. It works the exact same way as Mario RPG. I'm gonna buy a few of them, just in case. I'm gonna buy some... I'm gonna buy a fire flower. A pow block. Uh, one mushroom can never be too safe. This is a, a buffing item that's... Let's buy one. We can use it at least once. We can't carry any more items. Okay, uh, I guess I can shove them off later if I really need to. It's just a buffing item. The shell, it, it boosts your defense by one point, and then the Mr. Softener, it uh, nerfs your, your enemy's thing by one. Oh, your defense by one. Who's this? Um, excuse me. It's Mario, right? Look, I, uh... See... See, I've been waiting here in the hope of of uh, getting to speak to you. I have to ask you something. And, you're, and you can't say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Um... See... I was wondering... Would you... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail! Please, I'm begging you! Sorry about that. See... Sorry about that. See... My dad went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly, but this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Avenge is a part of it, I guess. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. But the truth is, I want to finish what my dad started, for his sake, for everyone's sake. I... man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but... I want to go too. Please, Mario. Now we have a choice to say, nope, sorry, or sure, come along. Obviously, we have to say yes. We need this guy. For real? No kidding? Yes, thank you so much. You won't regret this. Second party member of the game, Coops has joined your party. Yes, this is our new party member, Coops. He's a Cooper. Coops' ability is a primer. Press X to shoot a shell out, and he can reach items, and switches from, you know, far away that you can't reach on your own. So Coops is very, very important. You can hit switches, and if you hold the X button, you can actually walk around freely while he's still there. Yeah, so he's very, very, very useful. So you can hold the shell and move around as you will, and then release it whenever you want. It, he's very, very, very useful. This guy's really cool. And, you see, Coops... He really does remind me of of Mallow from Mario RPG because like they're both shy. They like you know they're shy and they want to find their parents and they want to prove the like you know they're worthy and brave. That's why he has the same voice as Mallow or he's going to have a similar voice to Mallow. Coops. Oh. Oh. Golly. Um hi Koopy. Uh, Koopy Koo, did you overhear all that? 
Well, part of it. Coops, I thought I heard you see you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koop, but I want to be tougher for you. So I have to do this. No, Koops, you won't. I mean, you're going off to some dangerous place. It's... It's stupid. So what if you're tough? So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I want to be with you, so don't go. I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man! Fine! Ignore me! Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I will come back a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that. I guess there's no turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Okay, I guess Koops' girlfriend has somewhat of a uh, temper. I know she cares about him a lot, but your boyfriend's trying to prove himself worthy. You should just let him go. I mean, it's dangerous, you know. It's really one-sided. It's, it's both sides. I don't know. I can see... You know what? It doesn't matter. Koops is awesome. Anyway, remember this badge that he couldn't reach? Thanks to Koops, we can reach it now. Happy Heart, it automatic- wait, what does it do? I didn't even read it. What does Happy Heart do? It automatically restores HP during battle. It'll slowly automatic- oh, so this is very, very useful. So I know next uh, level up, I'm going to be uh, leveling up- ooh. I'm going to be leveling up BP. But before that, I want to show Koops in a battle. Attack the Goomba. I want to show you in a battle. I want to show- ooh. Okay. First battle with Koops, I want to show you what he's all about. And he already killed that Goomba. So Koops attacks is Shell Toss and Power Shell, but unfortunately he can't do any of that because there's a flying enemy, so he can't do anything. But here's his um, defending animation. If you're curious, he doesn't hide in the shell for some reason. Don't know why they didn't do that. He's a Cooper, should hide in the shell, but he doesn't for some reason. So yeah, that's that. And battle's over. Four experience points. So Koops is a very shy Cooper, but he wants to prove himself worthy and that's the bravest thing he's ever done. Oh my God, what a perfect battle for Koops. So here's a special attack, shell, or power shell. It attacks all enemies and it's very, very, very powerful. Ooh! As you can see there, he just one shot, he killed all five of those Goombas in one turn. That's how useful Cooper is. He's a lot more useful than Miss No Arms. Not saying she's, ooh, wait, Mr. Mini, Mr. Mini. Well, do I have any items to like throw away? What's Goombella's uh, HP like? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanna, why are the items so bouncy? <gasps> I'm gonna have to, oh God, okay. Goombella, everyone's fine. Let's check items. I really, I need all these items. Okay. I don't really need this, you know, I'll, I'll leave it. I don't need it. I don't need a mini Mr. Mini. It just, it nerfs your enemy and that's it. It's nothing really, really special. Anyway, Koops, he is 10 times better than Goombella because he has arms and he's useful. Now we can put our stone keys in the little pedestal right here. Moonstone is in place. And the Sunstone is in place. Let's see what happens. Ooh, there's some ancient text written on that stone in the middle. Here beneath the path to Dread Hooktail's castle, weaklings wait, wait, what? Oh, to see okay, here's what you have to do. In order to to find out how to go to to um Wait, what the hell? If you, you are, okay, here's what we have to do. We have to push these switches, two switches at the same time. We have a time limit though, but we can't possibly do it that fast. You know, I can't walk that fast. They have to be pushed at the same time. How on earth are we gonna do that? Here's where Koops comes in. Hold him, make him push it and boom. He pushed the button, I pushed the button and there we go. That's why, if you say no to Koops and come back here, You'll never be able to make it past. That's why it's he's not an optional partner. He's required to go through the story. You need him. Although there is one optional partner in the game. I'm not gonna talk about it a lot. I'm just gonna say 
there's an optional party member in this game. I will get it. Just, it's not really important right now. So I'm not gonna talk about it. Is there a secret here? There's, is there, there's no secret. There's no secret, of course there isn't. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of soap. I think, my, okay, you know what? It's time. We're in the castle of Hooktail. A save here. And I'm going to end the episode off right here because, uh, yeah, it's been a while. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And if you enjoyed, as usual, please do not forget to, forget to leave a like, subscribe, favorite, and comment, and click the bell to be notified in every new video I upload, including this new series. Coops, you're awesome. You're way better than Goombella. And why do you have a band-aid on your nose? It's covering your nostrils. Can you breathe? Your mouth isn't open. You look really confused right now. Is your eyelid broken? Broken. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching. And as usual, as always, please do not forget... I, I screwed it up. Please have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Paper Mario. See you later, guys.